Well, I just spoke with Scott Adams a short time ago. He is the local union president here, and he says that this is really a top-down issue, and he is blaming these problems on the new postmaster general who took the job back in June. Take a look at the issue of delays, though. This stemmed from something that happened Sunday night into Monday morning. Adams says that rather than waiting an extra 10 minutes to load delivery trucks, those drivers were ordered to leave at 6.30 a.m. sharp, leaving behind at least 65,000 pieces of mail. Spokesperson for the Postal Service says the number is more like 38,000, and instances like this are extremely rare. Adams, though, says that the issue here is the Postmaster General, Louis DeJoy, who says that the Postal Service needs to slash spending and has pushed ideas such as cutting overtime pay and holding mail until the next day if distribution centers like this one are running late. If you look and you see that you've got two bills and a check coming and you don't get it, we've just We've given the general public the idea that we're not prompt, we're not reliable, we're not efficient, and then here comes the election. And that, of course, is the other big issue here related to the U.S. Postal Service, the November election. But Adams and the Postal Service says that they are prepared for any kind of surge for absentee ballots or also mail-in voting. We're going to talk a little bit more about that coming up at 6. Reporting live in Scarborough, Terry Stackhouse, WMTW News 8.